Now that was amazing. I highly recommend if you're from the UK and you're passing an Audi store, pick one of these up, you won't regret it. Unless of course you don't like banana milkshakes, then you probably will regret it because it was a banana milkshake. And for your information, I just faked drinking that because I actually finished it earlier. So if there's any film directors out there that want to give me an acting role, I'm all yours. So today I'm filming on the Canon G7X Mark III and you probably noticed that it struggles to stay in focus. If you've owned one of these things, you might have even thrown yours out of the window because it really is frustrating. It's not just my camera, it's all of the G7X Mark III's. But a few weeks ago in September 2021, Canon brought out a new firmware update and in this update is a new mode for the camera which they're calling Video Blog Recording Mode. Confusingly, on the camera itself, this is actually labelled as VL Mode. There doesn't seem to be any information online about this mode at all, but in the camera itself, when you select the mode, it says that it's supposed to rapidly focus on fast changing scenes. In other words, the autofocus should be fixed when using this mode. So what I'm gonna do now is a little focusing test on these standard settings, and then we're gonna switch over to the fix, and then we'll do a new focusing test with that. And then I'm gonna check out what it's like when it comes to staying focused on my face when I'm vlogging. So right now we're focused on the tree which is obviously close up and then when we move over to the distance you see that it takes its time before it gains focus on that. Now when we come back to the tree again it's going to take its time before it finally finds focus. So let's switch over to the fix and see how that can do. Okay so this is actually the first time that I'm trying this out so I don't even know what's going to happen here but we're focused on the tree in the fixed mode and then we move to the distance and that is a lot quicker at focusing now back to the tree and that is a lot better so I'm just going to walk and talk now but I can't actually see on this little screen how it's doing so I won't know until I get home and review the footage but let me know in the comments below if you think this is helping and it's holding focus better on my face so usually when you're vlogging you'd have it on just the automatic settings or if you're daring enough you might put it on the manual settings but with the automatic mode you can still control a lot of the other things like the mic input level you can control your color picture profile and just various settings within the camera itself but when you're in VL mode, there's pretty much nothing that you can actually control yourself. The white balance is set for you, the mic level is set to auto, and the color profile, well, there's no option for that at all, so I'm guessing that's just left on standard. Pretty much the only thing that you can still control is to turn on and off the ND filter. But, to be honest, when you're vlogging, these things don't really matter too much. All you want to be able to do is press record and film in any situation. So maybe this is actually not a bad thing after all. Most people are just going to want this to be fully automatic anyway. So I think that's enough walking and talking for you to be able to see whether or not this has had any effect. I'm really hoping when I get back home and look at the footage, it has fixed it. All right, let's stop there. I've seen enough. VL mode is... But no, in all honesty, there is a slight improvement there when it comes to tracking your face, but not a lot. And I mean, I reviewed a lot more footage than what I just showed you on the video there. So all in all, I've definitely found out that it does still struggle when it comes to tracking your face. The one thing that was definitely a clear improvement was when it comes to focusing between something in the foreground and something in the background. Obviously, if you're a vlogger or a filmmaker that shoots purely things that are in front of you and doesn't shoot yourself, aiming at your own face whilst talking, then this could be a significant improvement. Otherwise, if you're looking for that massive improvement when walking and talking to the camera, unfortunately, you're not gonna get that. And I think it's time to face it that they're never gonna fix this issue. And it's obviously something that's a problem with the hardware itself. So for that reason, I'm gonna be continuing to use the Sony ZV-1 when I'm out vlogging, or better yet, the Sony X3000, which is my personal choice for pretty much any vlog situation, but it's not for everybody because it doesn't have a flip out screen. But I'm gonna put some links down below to first of all, my review of the Sony X3000 in case you did wanna check that out. And also my side by side comparison of the Sony ZV-1 with the Canon G7X Mark III that we've been looking at today. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.